Hey hi, let me introduce to our group, Giant Shindi, Akash Kothawadi, Rahul Jadhev, guided by, Mr. AJ Umberkar. Next, our project name, that is, let me show you. Now, the introduction to TLBO. TLBO, Teaching Learning Based Optimization. It is an evolutionary optimization algorithm invented by Dr. R. V. Rao, SVNIT Surat. This algorithm is mimic of teaching learning process. TLBO is population based algorithm. TLBO is a teaching learning process inspired algorithm based on the effect of influence of teacher on the output of learners in the class. Teachers and learners are two vital components of the algorithm and describes two basic modes of learning through teacher-teacher phase and interacting with other learners-learner phase. The output in TLBO algorithm is considered in terms of results or grades of the learners which depends on the quality of the teacher. Teacher is usually considered as highly learned person who trains learners so that they can have better results in terms of their marks and grades. Moreover, learners also learn from the interaction among themselves which also help in improving their results. Now we will see each step of algorithm in details with an example through data structure approach. Now the first step of the algorithm. In this step the task is initializing. We initialize as follows. Population size equal to 10. Number of design variables are 2. Range of variables is from minus 100 to 100. Our objective function is summation of xi square and termination criteria is 1000 x1 and x2 are design variables and the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers are population. This is the random number generator from which design variables take the random numbers as shown here. The random number generator sending the number to the design variables and as our objective function is summation of xi square the values of x1 square plus x2 square gets updated in the table. Like we see the values of x1 and x2 square gets updated and the whole table is updated here. That's it. This is our first step. Now we are moving to the second step and that is the calculate the mean of each design variable. In this step the task is calculating the mean of x1 and x2. 
mean for x1 is calculated as the sum of all the numbers in the x1 divided by 5. The answer is minus 8.2 and minus 8.2 gets updated in the column of x1. The mean for x2 calculated in the same way and the answer minus 1 is also gets updated in the column of x2. That's it. This is our second step. And now we are moving to the third step. And our third step is identify the best solution or the best teacher. In this step, our task is identify the best teacher. Means select the minimum of f of x and corresponding values of x1 and x2. Here the minimum is 1053 and corresponding values are minus 18 minus 27. That's it. This is our third step. Now we are moving to the next step. That is, modify the solution based on best solution using the difference mean formula. In this step, the task is modifying the solutions using the difference mean formulas. Learners will gain knowledge according to the quality of teaching and quality of learners in the class. Considering this fact, the difference between the result of the teacher and mean result of the learners in each subject is expressed as this is the difference mean formula where ri is the random number, xjk best i is the teacher in that subject j and tf is the teaching factor. The value of tf is 0 or 1. Now teacher tries to improve the mean result of the class. Assuming these random numbers, the difference mean is calculated for x1 and x2. Based on the difference mean, existing solution is updated according to the following expression. The value gets updated only if it gives the better function value. Now we will see for x1 is value is getting updated, for x2 the value is getting updated and finally the f of x that is x1 square plus x2 square is gets updated in the table. Likewise we have to update the table and finally we get the updated table as shown here. These updated values becomes input to the learner phase. That's it. This is our current step and now we are moving to the next step. Our next step is to compare the two previous two tables and updated, updating the solutions in the next table. Now we will see what actually happens in this step of algorithm. The values of the f of x of the following tables gets compared as shown and the best or minimum value gets placed in the next table. This completes the teacher phase of the algorithm. As we see, the minimum value is getting placed in the next table and corresponding values of x1 and x2 also get placed in the next table. All the remaining comparisons are done in the similar manner and finally we get the updated table based on fitness comparison. Now we will move on to the next step. This is our current step and we are moving to the next step. In this step, we have to select two solutions randomly, x dash of jpi and x dash of jqi. If solution of x dash of jpi is better than solution of x dash of jqi, we will use this formula. Otherwise, we will use this formula. Now we will see what actually happens in this type of algorithm. The learners can gain knowledge by interacting among themselves. Randomly two learners p and q are selected such that x dash of total pj not equal to x dash total qj. Any learner can interact with any other learner. And this interaction can be done in random manner. In this example, we are considering the interactions as shown. If x dash of total pj greater than x dash of total qj, the first formula else the second formula. Taking these random values. And for learner 1, as f of x value of 2 is better, then x1 is calculated by using the formula and getting updated in the table. The value for x2 is calculated in the same way and getting updated in the table. And finally, the f of x, that is x1 square plus x2 square, getting updated. Likewise, we have to update the table and finally we get the updated table for all the interactions as shown. That's it. This is our current step. Now, we are moving to the next step. In this next step, we have to compare the two previous tables and updating the solutions in the next table. If the solution x double dash of jpi better than solution of x dash of jpi, accept and replace the previous if no reject and keep the previous now we will see what actually happens in this type of algorithm the values of the f of x of the following tables gets compared as shown and the best or minimum value gets placed in the next table this completes the learner phase and one iteration in the algorithm 
as we see the minimum value for f of x is getting updated in the table and the corresponding values of x1 and x2 are getting updated in the table all the remaining comparisons are done in similar manner and we get the finally updated table on the based of fitness comparisons as shown that's it this is our current step now we will move to the last step our last step is is the termination criteria is satisfied or not now we will see what actually happens in this step of algorithm it can be noted that the minimum value in our random generated table is 1053 and it gets reduced to the 830.9355 as the number of iterations are 1000 no value of objective function can be obtained in next few iterations in next iteration this updated table will be input to teacher phase and repeat steps until the termination criteria satisfies that's it this is our current step if the termination criteria satisfied we will report the optimal solution and if the termination criteria is not satisfied then we will go to the step 2 that step is our calculating the mean of each design variable here are some of the references for TLB algorithm and that's it this is the animation for TLB algorithm thank you